for watching. This is uh, the third installment of my video series, which is all about my Bangkok shop house. So, so this episode is all about uh, an update on how construction is, is going. So I'll show you inside and show you what's all happening. Uh, the, the boys here have been, and girls, have been working on this for about four weeks now. And the major thing that they've been working on initially is putting in some metal frames, metal supports, metal beams, so we can actually put another rooftop on and another floor at the top. So as you can imagine, that's cost a lot of money and it's taking a lot of time, but what it's actually gonna do is increase the um, square meter, the the, uh, the area of this shop house. So it's gonna go somewhere like, I think it was, it's gonna increase to 200 and about 280 square meters. And it's going to take it from, I think it was a hundred and something. Um, so I, f I figured that that was pretty important to be able to increase the square meter, uh, the area of this place to increase its value. Uh, and also, not, not only that, but also just make the whole structure really, really strong. Um, got the government approval for it all um, to actually extend it, which is quite important. Um, but that's all done. And it was actually a little bit difficult to, um, during this this time of the year we're changing changing the government so any dealings with the government at this point in time you need to tiptoe around and fortunately i wasn't really involved in that i just had to cough up a bit of cash anyway we've got approval to put another floor at the top um, so stage one of construction is basically strengthening the building putting the walls in and putting the two floors on now the floor at the top it's not just any standard floor at the top uh, the concept I uh, what I want is actually a rooftop where I can stand and have parties and put some pot plants up there and it's high enough that I can actually see that sunset over over Bangkok so I got visions of um, sitting there watching the sun go down in the afternoon and perhaps having a little shandy and and thinking about life now I actually got another place up in Chiang Mai which I can do another video if people people are interested in I can talk about my Chiang Mai my property up there as well but every afternoon when I'm up there in Chiang Mai I sit there and watch the sunset so I want the same thing here so a big rooftop there um, and uh, so that's going to be that top part there anyway uh, thanks for all the comments and um, encouragement people have been uh, putting on YouTube and there's been a lot of questions actually um, and there was a few questions about like how to actually do this and what are the laws and legal requirements for foreigners in particular buying properties in Thailand. So I'm not gonna answer those in this video, I'll do that in the next video, like how to find places, construction crews and that kind of stuff and the price of things. This video here is all about what's happening on the inside. Um, and I'll tell you what, the main, watching them build this, I'm pretty keen to move in. I'm living in a very small apartment at the moment, so I'd love them to finish. Um, so as with every uh, renovation, it's gone over budget and it's taken a long time. Anyway, let's go inside and have a look. Yeah, so you can see all these beams here. So all these built strong H-frame uh, steel steel has been installed, but they've also had to take chunks out of the out of the existing buildings as well. Uh, but the good thing about this, I've got a now very super strong structure and building. But this took a lot of time, and poor buggers had to do it all hand by hand. Uh, but it's in, and we've got a nice strong strong building now. So this is the uh, ground floor bathroom. And as you can see, we just put this wall up. Uh, this wall here is gonna get smashed down. And in the corner actually, where the toilet is now, it's actually gonna be a water tank. So the concept is we have the water tank there. And so it pumps the water in from the, from the city mains. And then underneath here, so underneath there is the, where the water pump is. So. So we'll have a water tank in here in the corner, and the pump will put the will um, build up the pressure. So we've got water pressure throughout the whole house. So getting all the water supply done is going to take a bit of effort. Um, 
but it's pretty important. Um, so yeah, this will be a shower just here. Shower just here. We'll have a toilet just in the corner here, which is next to the water tank. And then we're gonna have the washing machine just here. And also, if you notice up top, I've actually got the laundry chute. So the concept with the laundry chute is, so that'll be the master bed uh, bathroom up there. And just throw our clothes through and it'll gather down here where the laundry actually is. Now, some of the other features, I wanted to make sure that this section of the wall was quite wide beside the door, so we can have storage behind. Uh, so when the door shuts, I can hang my brooms and my mops and things like this, and electrical extension leads and things like that. So this bathroom here is gonna be like a, it's the laundry and the bathroom, and probably gonna get most use because the kitchen is gonna be in this section here. So this is where the kitchen is going to go, just in this section here. But that's going to be delayed a bit because we're running out of money. So we're going to have a little temporary kitchen when we move in. Yeah, so the vision is this will be the kitchen area here under the stairs. And so there'll be kitchen space underneath, but also another kind of like a central counter area. And then I've got visions here between this, these, two, these two posts of being a nice big bookcase. Uh, now, if that concept works, I want to continue it all the way down here. So we even kind of put a shelving system and put a TV in there. So I was talking to my wife about when she's in the kitchen, she's going to have the TV on. Or we're sitting here, right here is kind of where the, the main uh, dinner table will be uh, between these two posts. So main dinner table here, we can even have a little TV here. And now this entrance area, this will basically be uh, where we take our shoes off. This is gonna be the welcome kind of area, the entry area. But the concept with the entry area too is that, you know, you've got the dirty kind of outside, you know, I'll be parking my motorcycle out here. And then you walk into this entryway and this is where you take your shoes off, take a little rest, and then you get into the kitchen area, into the bathroom area if you want to clean your hands or whatever it might be get a little snack in the kitchen so i can picture this in the afternoon after work and or in breakfast time just being quite a busy area i'm sure it's going to be the area because my kid wife loves cooking she's going to spend most of her time here we've also got visions this is going to be probably in a year's time of opening up some kind of a little shop here so we're trying to we've got a lot of ideas no short shortage of ideas about what we could possibly sell to the local community to add a little bit, bit of extra cash to pay for the renovations. So this here is the second floor, the master bedroom, and this is going to be the master bathroom. Specifically, we wanted this huge door because this is essentially going to be a walkway on the bedroom straight into this master bedroom. So this here is the second floor. You can see I started putting uh, blocks at the back wall there. Um, this will be a bedroom here actually. Um, I've got dreams of it becoming kind of my man cave soundproof music studio here, which is just at the top of the stairs. And then this section here is where another bathroom is going to go, so in the middle. And then down this end here will be my daughter's bedroom. And she'll have a nice little balcony. So. Where the wall ends, there's going to be a glass sliding door. And so a nice little balcony area. She can have some pot plants or whatever else out there. 
a uh, little bit of fresh air, and there's actually not a bad breeze up here. So we're gonna harness some of that breeze coming through. Be nice. But you can see the metal frames all in place above me. And so pretty soon they're gonna rip off this roof here. And when that, when that roof is ripped off, uh, the concrete trucks are gonna come in and they're gonna put a concrete slab above me. So that's why there's been so much time and effort and energy put into the uh, reinforcing of this building because it needs to support another floor. Then when that's done, there's gonna be another floor above it. So that'll be our fourth floor. So the fifth floor, the fifth floor will be the roof and that'll be another concrete platform above as well. Um, so there'll be a stairwell just here. Stairs will go straight up to that fourth floor. And the fourth floor will be our lounge room. There'll be a nice big space up above. Uh, a, lot, a lot of glass to let the, like the air flow. Um, I can imagine it's gonna be a nighttime place, our lounge room. Um, so probably hot in the daytime, but in the nighttime, I think you'll have a nice cool breeze so I can watch TV there. Got some ideas and that we're gonna uh, try to utilize that space at the top, have a nice real big, big party space, big lounge room. And then a stairwell, a, a kind of a ladder that'll take us up to the rooftop as well. So I'm looking forward to them putting this roof on because once they put this roof on here, this will be the fourth floor roof. Then we can start doing a little bit more of the interior, which includes um, tidying up all the walls, ceilings, windows, and also the floor. And once we've got a floor and door and windows and, and walls in, we can start bringing in some of the furniture that we've already ordered and bought. Um, hopefully we can move in soon. So these walls here have just been added. So they'll be all smoothed over. And I'll put the ceiling in. And you can see behind me too, we're gonna stick out a little bit further. We're gonna get as much space as we can out to extend that square meter in. Uh, and in case you're wondering, yes, the construction crew does live here. And they live on site until the job is finished. And yes, everything's pretty much done by hand, whether it's lifting these massive metal steel um, beams or mixing a bit of concrete all done by hand so here ends the uh, third video about my bangkok townhouse so in a future video i'll tell you a bit more about um, yeah the laws and, and how people can actually purchase properties in thailand um, i'll also give you another update um, and i'm really looking forward to moving in uh, been yeah, it's it's taking too long for me my my I'm, I'm i'm about to say my patience is wearing thin but it's not because i can actually see the work that they're actually doing uh but i am really looking forward to moving into this new place and i'm very impressed with their progress so that's my it's now july 2023 and my kermit green shop house is being transformed I'll be able to move in there soon.